Hey man, I'd never dream of using anything that belongs to somebody else without asking them. But I got some cool ideas and I was kind of want to know if I could use your pool. No. I got some rude neighbors, you know that? Today, we're looking at something that could possibly be a panoptic killer. Or live scope, or active target, or whatever you call it. Like I said, possibly. I'm just saying. Anybody that's used panoptics, or live scope, or you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's used that technology knows that it's awesome technology. It's kind of like an ultrasound when you're going to get your baby checked at the doctor. Traditional depth finders take pictures, and they show you a picture. And it's just a static view of something under the water. With the new technology, you can actually see fish swimming. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you can look at it in like three different modes, which is pretty cool. But like I said, the coolest thing about it is it's live. It's like live video. That's awesome. Well, what if I had something even better? Now, what I got in this case right here is pretty dang awesome. And it's made by Power Vision. Every time I open this case, it's like, oh. See what I mean? And what I got in this case is an underwater drone, or in layman's terms, a submarine. Prepare for dive! Does he mean underwater? You know that right there is awesome. And it comes with all sorts of accessories. On the other side of the case, we have our remote remote control that is and you have a phone holder over here so you can mount your phone to your remote this little device right here hooks to the drone once you hook it into the bottom of the drone this is actually a fish finder believe it or not say you're a bank fisherman you could drive around the lake and use this fish finder and see how deep it is everywhere and see fish pretty cool it also comes with a set of virtual reality goggles. You put your phone in this thing and you can wear these and see everything the drone sees. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! But like I said, you can mount your phone on the controller too if you don't want to do that. It also comes with a really long tether. I know when I said tether, a lot of you like, oh man. But the reason you need to tether is because frequency will not penetrate water. Once it hits water, it spreads out and dissipates. Anybody that's ever hooked their GoPro to their phone and stuck it under the water, as soon as it goes into water, it goes black. You understand this principle. You have to have a tether for things to go underwater. Plus, another good thing about a tether, if the battery goes dead, you can pull your drone back in with it. Now, this block right here is the charging block. And the way it works, it has three chargers on it, and you charge everything at the same time. You charge your remote, you charge the drone, and finally, you charge this little receiver. And this little receiver is the brains of this drone. Yep, just like I'm the brains of this operation. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying. Everything the remote tells it to do, this receiver receives it, sends it through the tether to the drone. This is just a little dust cap. That's where you hook your tether in at. And it'll all be completely waterproof. Now we get to the cool part. This right here is a 4K camera. And it's not just one lens, it's multiple lenses on this thing. And it's designed for filming underwater. Now on both sides of the camera, there's LED lights. And these lights are really bright. Seems like they're 300 lumens a piece. I might be wrong. But see, that's the thing. This is not a sponsored video. I paid for this drone with my own money. I actually paid for it about eight months ago. I just ain't had time to do a video about it. But we getting ready to do a video about it right now. We're going to see if this thing really is a panoptic killer. It could be. You'll never know. But first, before I put it in a lake or something, we need to run a little test. And I just happen to know a swimming pool. My neighbor was awesome enough to let me use his pool to try this thing out. I wanted to drive it around in the pool for a little while before I took it to the lake. I wanted to get used to the controllers and how they work, but this thing's really fast. And that 4K camera does a great job of filming. It's actually a lot of fun driving this thing. This is going to be such a great video. We're going to 
might take this thing to the big lake. Okay, so I'm hoping this water's clear enough. We can use an underwater drone and get some good footage. We're gonna try this drone out here in a couple places. You know, it's weird. These fish love this drone. I dropped it in the water and they're very curious what this thing is. Hopefully the big fish will love it too. So I backed my truck up to the water because I needed somewhere to mount this. I got it strapped to my tailgate support so it can't go in the water. Okay, so we about ready to blast this thing off. First time in the real lake, people. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Oh, uh, dang it, something's wrong with it, I'm stuck. Yeah, I found the problem. I believe that's the problem right there. So I'm gonna clean this thing out. We're going to try this somewhere else. I didn't even got a dang split shot in my motor. I've got to admit, pan optics and live scope is some awesome, awesome technology. I even got it on my boat. So that's what I'm putting on my boat. Here's my transducer, my cornfield crappy mount. They got my name on it. And by the way, if you buy pan optics or live scope, watch them salesmen because they're a little bit sketchy. Is putting this garment on my boat gonna make it a fish catching machine? Can you give me a guarantee? Uh, yes. Money sir. back? Well, I, I can. I don't. You can. I, I, it'll be, it'll be a give money. Give me money back. Give you money back. Yeah, guarantee. Labor. Labor. <laughs> <laughs> Never trust a salesman. I really like the pan ops on my boat. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, you can literally see those fish swimming. But really, an underwater drone? I mean, Just saying you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying think of the possibilities for this with the ice fishing I mean ice cameras are awesome and all but with this camera you can actually drive the thing and I ain't never been ice fishing fishing in a cabin with a heater in the winter I'm down with that but you can get some really cool shots using these things and maybe it ain't a live scope killer I don't know this I'm keeping my pan ops, okay? It's really not practical for a fishing situation, but it sure is cool, and I got some awesome video ideas to use this thing on. And speaking of awesome video ideas, I've got a lot of them. So maybe you should go check some out, and maybe you should think about sticking around. You know what I'm saying? Click subscribe, people. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? Hey! Dang it! Get your tail back here! <laughs>